The Maybridge Centre is one of the key community and voluntary organisations in Worthing and we've been involved as a supporter largely from the background and we've helped on the committee, helped them to look at funding. They have a very strong team of people. I've been around the club since the early 50s when the builders handed the club over to the club and the club started officially. It was originally a boys club, then, uh, then they took girls in um, and it became a youth club. Always had a good strong youth club uh, and with some good strong leadership um, uh, from voluntary to, through to West Sussex staff as well so that's always been good and strong. Um, it was just the building that was falling down around our ears uh, right. that we had to put right. The old building was absolutely horrific, it really was. When I came last time, the main hall, it, it was a good sized room but it was very dark, it was overwhelming, very closed in. The facilities weren't really fit for purpose. And just before the building uh, got to the demolition stage, we had a skeleton crew in, which is one of our, our local groups in, do all this sort of work, uh, come in with the young people and we let them go mad around the walls and really practice their art. During the demolition, one of the council officers actually told me, I said, wouldn't it be a great idea if we frame that? So this is the result. It's been tidied up, obviously, since the demolition, um, but that is the only part of the old building you can still see sitting in. I was here when they knocked down the old building and I could feel tears in my eyes as it went. And I do miss it because it's got a familiar smell of all those years. But this is beautiful. I feel really grateful that we've got what we've got now. This building is just magnificent. I have to pinch myself each time I come in. I can't believe it's the same place. It's beautiful. They're an absolutely amazing group. The testament of their strength is that this building exists and it's due to the effort of the people on the committee who've got Maybridge blood running through their veins um, that this project exists. The need here is a very big need. It's an estate that is very young and keeps young for some reason. The number of children on this estate never seems to change. This place now can be used by many age groups as well, which is the good thing. Dealing with all the young people that come through our door, um, we have two sessions running on Wednesday and a Friday. Wednesday we do outreach around the streets, walking around, meeting new young people. What we're trying to do is to reach young people where they are, rather than trying to force them to come to the club. We'll offer that as a service, but we'll work on the streets for them. We'll work on any issues they've got with our experience with drugs, alcohol, homelessness, and we can do that and work with them out there. Fridays is a generic session, so we've got pool, um, air hockey, football, uh, basketball, sports out on the field. Arts and crafts, so different activity, clay modelling, painting, and then we've got the Wii, so Wii competition, pool competition, lots of different things. Come to the normal youth club and I found out the boxing was on. Come down with my best friend and eventually I'm hoping to be in a volunteer for the 8 to 12s youth club. It's good, very good for the community, it gets the children off the streets, it helps them build the right attitude to life, what they're going to do when they leave school, move forward. We have martial arts, we have taekwondo coming in, uh, we've got two different short mat bowls groups coming in, we have pilates, but on top of that we do an awful lot of one-off hires um, and we have a lot of training here as well. Just seeing all the pictures, meeting people from the community groups. This centre seems to be buzzing 24-7 and it's just absolutely fantastic. Well, my vision for the future is to be able for the community to take it over a bit more. We have got people from the community that come along as volunteers. Some of them are here today. It's a community asset and it should be used by the communities. I think it's very much linked into all this talk about big society. I think the truth of the matter is that big society is what these people have been doing for 30 or 40 years.